uh, some footage here from the Tour Down Under behind the scenes footage. Give the video a thumbs up if you appreciate the camera quality. This is a Sony FX3 Barana, Barana, <laughs> Bahrain Merida on the Merida. Um, no, I like the color of the bike, man. I like these. I like Merida bikes. I think they're fantastic. You know, Merida, specialized uh, sister company there. And I think they're a great bike. But uh, with the, obviously with the disc brakes for dirt, rim for road, you know, we're not really feeling that vibe with the road disc. And I'll tell you why. Look at the extra work the mechanics have to deal with with these new integrated bar stem combos. The cable's going through all that. It's like, you know what I mean? It's almost as bad as autofocus on some of these new cameras. It's, you know, it's crazy. But look at that shiny. It looks, it looks nice. It looks nice and shiny. But what you don't see is the dramas mechanics have with these bikes. Uh, all the mechanics absolutely hate this road disc stuff. Just because the extra work. Like if you've been a mechanic for 10 or 20 years like I have. And then all of a sudden you got this new system. There is no advantage. There is extra weight and extra faff. You know, like before a mechanic would jump out of the team car and just give someone a wheel, all right? Or they wouldn't even have to do it. Someone from Mavic, neutral spares would just give them a wheel, push the rider on, on the go. Now the, the team car has to joggy through the convoy, you know, and then the, the, the guy has to pull the bike off the roof while the rider sits there watching the peloton or the breakaway just escape. You know, thinking all the watts are going to have to push to try and catch up. And just checking for the bent rotor. The cap, cap, that looks all right. You know, close enough maybe. You know, and, and now they just have to give them a whole new bike. You know, and then faff around with that. It's just so much extra work there. Okay. So much extra work. You know, it's just unnecessary. But hey, that's, that's the bike industry. They, they want to sell new product. And, you know, the bikes got so good. They're like, well, we can't make them any better. Let's make them different. And then we'll try and make them better. <laughs> So the yeah, it's crazy, all right. It's it's insane. Yeah, you know, and I get to ride all these bikes. You know, I've got the latest stuff. I've got the I've got the twelve speed Jurass groups, and I've got the SL8 tarmac. All and I got all that stuff. Like it's just, and I get to ride a lot of these bikes as well. But I've seen off off camera, etc. People think, what do you think? I'm just like, yeah, I, I can hear what you're saying. It's not as good as it used to be, is it? You know, and with twelve speed, a, a problem with twelve speed is that derailleur hang has to be absolutely perfect. If you get a little knock in there, it just it throws everything off because the, 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 the limitations of tolerances are so much extreme now with 12-speed. You know, so really, it's not an advantage. I would recommend people don't buy 12-speed. Stick with 8, 9, 10, or 11-speed, okay? But during rider, you have 12-speed Juros. Yeah, and that's why I can talk from experience. I'm not one of these people out there who's just who reads what Reddit says and then just copy what that says. I, I'm actually an experienced rider with you know, two and a half decades of road racing experience, and I have all the latest stuff. I have the older stuff. I have it all. And I get to use all of it. I'm in a very privileged position where I get to use anything I want. I have access to any cycling product I want. If I, you know, I'm one of the only people in the world who owns an SL8 Tarmac S Works. They are super rare right now, and I've got one. I was the first person in the world to have one on YouTube, etc. Okay. The other people who got one uh, at the same time I did were the, the people who were sponsored by Specialized. Okay. So. You know, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I am privileged and I feel very lucky and blessed. And, and so, and use use that. Use my privilege for your privilege, for your advantage. Now, look at this. Look at this extra faff here. He's just thinking, oh my God, let's throw this bike off the cliff. All right. Just, he just changed the wheel, man. He just put the new wheel in. And look at what has, has to happen now. Has to put the white paper. It's a white paper treatment. So when Specialized says white paper, this is what they really mean. Get a piece of white paper, put it under your tarmac disc brake bike, and start faffing around, all right? And this guy's a pro mechanic. Like these, these world tour mechanics are the best of the best. They have to work fast and long, and get the job done right. Okay, and look how much faff it's taken him to do it. Okay, so imagine your average home mechanic or bike shop mechanic. You know, it's, it's struggle town, struggle town, and he's still thinking, oh, is it good enough? And then if you, you know, I mean, like. Yeah, just the extra faff, eh? Hey? And then he's thinking, I'll oh, we'll see if the rider notices. <laughs> you know? it's it's And then, and then it gets knocked in storage. The rider gets knocked in storage. Start again from scratch. The mechanics hate these new bikes. And uh, you'll have buyer's remorse if you're paying attention. 